welcome back to my Let's Play of Body Works Forager uh, Missions in Anatomy, everyone. But before we get started, let me go ahead and click on Restore Game here, just because uh, otherwise it's just, just going to take me through a brief overview, which you heard the last time. So, yeah. Uh, so anyway, um, we uh, played the first six uh, missions last, last time, so we're just going to go ahead and continue with the game here. And um, one thing I forgot to mention here is that um, I am actually running this game through DOS box because this is actually a DOS game. So um, <clears throat> there was a CD available, and uh, but yeah, the game just runs on DOS. So um, yeah, I'm just using ordinary DOS box here. And yeah, game runs pretty well here. And um, uh, while playing back my video from last time, um, seems that music's pretty soft. So I could probably just increase the volume a little bit there. And um, yeah, hopefully it won't be too bad on my ears while my headphones are on. But well, um, yeah, I did notice that the music was pretty soft, though. A lot softer than I thought it'd be. But at the same time, though, I could probably just like uh, not talk as much yeah, during the missions where we are fighting the infection. So um, yeah, there's that too. And uh, yeah, if you think this is quite repetitive after a couple of missions, yeah, you're correct. Because you have to do the 60 times. So uh, yeah, it does get very, very like uh, repetitive extremely quickly and everything. But um, um, at least for this game, though, yeah, I'm um, pretty much drawn to the um, to the part where you fight the infection because um, that pretty much varies every time, and um, so hopefully that brings a lot of fun and entertainment. Yeah, it's not so much the quiz questions because yeah, let's be honest, yeah, I don't really like that part. So <laughs> yeah, it's the part when we start fighting the microbes and infection. That's the part I really look forward to each time. Yeah, despite the fact that it's pretty much the same every time. Yeah, in that, yeah, the goal is the same. You just fight them, yeah, and destroy them as quickly as you can before the patient uh, gets unhealthy and or um, your ship gets too much damaged. But, um, yeah, uh, the at least the types you have to fight each time, yeah, vary. So, and even the combinations that you, that they throw at you, too. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, after the first couple of missions, yeah, if you think it's very repetitive, you are correct there, but, um, yeah, just... Um, Keep watching, yeah, because there are some interesting ones later on, especially as we get more uh, weapons available to us as well. Since we only have the first two available for, for us to us for the time being. Yeah, the brown star ones and those green uh, ball ones. Um, yeah, we will get some other weapons later on. Yeah, but uh, it won't be for quite a while, though. So anyway, yeah, just keep watching. And um, yeah, hopefully um, it'll be more interesting to you by then. But if, if it's not, then... Of course, I can't really prevent you from like um, not like turning yourself away from my videos on this game and stuff. This just happens to be one that I really, really loved and enjoyed very much. Yeah, it was pretty addictive to me. And um, yeah, I just found a lot of fun and entertainment in it. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and continue now. So I'm just going to go ahead and load up my um, save from last time. Welcome to Mission Control, Ensign. So, yeah, just the usual main screen here, and then if I go back to it, oh, what's the Oh, yes, we are on, on lower side now. That's right, yeah. Like I said, we finished the first six last time. So, perhaps I could just label the uh, save file the next time as well, yeah, by uh, putting in the number level that we are on. By the way, let's go ahead and continue with the next mission. The patient has been complaining of a severe backache. A closer examination of his 26 vertebrae has revealed the presence of a mineral-eating bacteria within the bone. All bone is made of a combination of protein, collagen fibers, and minerals. As the bacteria consumes the minerals, the bone weakens, making it more likely to fracture or break in a fall. It is vitally important to stop the bacteria because the spine forms the supportive framework for the body. For your mission, you will be taken directly to the spine to stop the bacteria before it destroys the body's framework. So, yes, the skeletal system now. What is the second cervical vertebrae called? Yeah, that I am not spine. certain. Cervical vertebrae. So, first vertebrae is the atlas. Aha, I was ready. Right. Wait, uh... Cervical vertebrae. So it's called the axis, okay. And as far as I understand, you could go to other systems, yeah, if you want to, to explore the other, um, 
uh, systems that we have as humans. But um, from what I understand, I think they simply ask you the same questions. So it's, they're not going to really help you much in answering them. Yeah, if I remember correctly. And as a matter of fact, let's try it. Yeah, if I did this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it asks you the exact same question. But it will always be on the system that it first brings you to. Which in this case is Skeletal. So Fine. therefore, yeah, it's in your best interest to just stay with the Skeletal system. Yeah, for the um, interest of uh, answering the quiz questions. So yeah, this is the um, axis. Second vertebrae from the head. Um, isn't that the same one? Spine. Cervical vertebrae. Yeah, I would think it's the exact Thoracic same one. Thoracic vertebrae. Lumbar vertebrae. Sacrum. Coccyx. Yeah, I would think it's the uh, axis again. Yeah, indeed. Okay, so we know axis and atlas. So it's just sacrum thorax. Spine. Sacrum. So it's the pelvis between the two hip bones. Alrighty, um, uh, yeah, let me just go ahead and increase it a little. So basically, to the uh, higher end of the uh, soft uh, range, I guess. Yeah, so I think about here should be fine. Alrighty. Ah, so they mix up the uh, microbes that attack the body. So those broccoli guys and those crab like creatures. We're just going to use the number two weapon here, those green balls that you see. Because, um, as was mentioned last time, yeah, essentially the star shaped ones are only affected against the bats. Yeah, although this weapon works against them too. Yeah, it also destroys them in one hit, but, um, because they don't fan out as well, um, it's a bit harder to aim them at the bats. That might have put the music a bit too far up. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't hurt that much here, but, uh, yeah, at least depending on the track, yeah, maybe I put it a little too high up. Yeah, and luckily these are, ones are pretty easy to fight, yeah, since they take a while before they can fire at the ship. Your defense of the patient was flawless that time. Keep it up. I see that you brought your ship home whole. It's good to know that some of my pilots know how to read a shield gauge. Thank you. That will be all. Welcome to Mission Control, Ensign. Alrighty, next one. This patient lives in a very polluted city. He has complained of breathlessness and pain in the upper chest. He is wheezing and has a slight cough. A closer examination reveals infection and inflammation of the bronchi. Your mission is to go directly to the respiratory system locate and stop the infection and restore breathing to normal all right so respiratory system as he mentioned what carries oxygen through the body the alveoli is it interior of lungs alveoli Oh no, it wasn't. Okay. Um. Well, from the computer's point of view, it would be the left, but um, it's probably still the right one though. Interior of lungs. The lungs. No, it is the left. Okay. Just making sure. Um, name of the tubes, the. Uh, so that would be the bronchi, isn't it? Trick to the Interior lungs. Interior of lungs. Trachea. 
bronchi, alveoli, diaphragm. Trachea to the lungs. Interior of lungs. Bronchi. Alveoli. It's right, bronchi, though. Ah. Cheap muscle respiration. Um. Interior the lung, of the lung. Diaphragm, I would think. Diaphragm. It's diaphragm, okay. Yeah, I had a feeling it was. Again, I'm not a medical person, so I'm not like an extreme expert, but well. So, new type of enemy here that attacks the ship. Yeah, so those like cigar guys that have steam coming out of their head. So, they are some of the most difficult to destroy. Yeah, since they take a lot of shots yeah, before, they, before you kill them. And we haven't exactly seen it here yet, but uh, these cigar guys, they draw the exact same weapon as the uh, lobster crab like guys. Except their attack is much weaker. So, as you can see, even though they use the exact same weapon as them, yeah, their weapon is much weaker against the ship, so therefore, you don't take too much damage. Yeah, as a matter of fact, you take very, very low. There you go. So, yeah. This attack is extremely weak. Yeah, whereas the one from the crab and lobster guys, it is much stronger. Yeah. Even though they throw the exact same weapon. Ooh, that was close. He almost got inside the body there. It's not the end of the world if that happens, but uh, yeah, it's like I said in the first video. Um, you have you let too many of that happen. Yeah, then uh, you uh, allow the health of the patient to be depleted. Then that's when you lose the mission and you have to try again. Yeah, these guys are pretty tough to destroy. Your protection of the patient was top notch. You stopped that creeping crud in its tracks. Good work. I see that you brought your ship home whole. It's good to know that some of my pilots know how to read a shield gauge. Thank you. That will be all. Welcome to Mission Control, Ensign. All right, just cruising along here. 14 hours after eating a large holiday meal, the patient began complaining of an agonizing pain in the middle of the abdomen. The sharp pain bores through from the front of the chest to the back. A closer examination reveals an infection in the pancreas. Your mission is to go directly to the endocrine system, find out how the pancreas is connected to the digestive system, and eradicate any infection you find there. So, the endocrine system. Yeah, where your pancreas is. Um... So, insulin should be the hormone. Um... And then secreted, that would probably be the enzymes. So, yeah, I think just by reading the definitions alone, I, I'm able to, able to figure it out. Yeah, awesome. Sometimes process of elimination can work in your favor here if you know what you're doing, and along with an educated guess. Down by the cavity, it just touches the spleen. Pancreas. It's the tail, okay. Pancreas. Uh, pancreas duck. Now we get to fight these broccoli guys that attack the ship. I don't think we fought them before yet. But yeah, uh, their weapon, essentially by Bernard and I, when we were growing up, 
We essentially dub it like the Blue Hurricane. And yeah, it is an extremely strong attack. So it does a lot of damage to the ship. So be careful with those. Ah, and we attack these crab like creature guys. Yeah, now this attack, as I said, it's, it is much stronger than the one that the cigar guys for the previous mission drew at us. Yeah, as you can see, it takes a lot of our. a lot of the ship's health uh, away. So, both of these guys, yeah, are able to damage the ship a lot. Yeah, and these guys that attack their body, um, these yellow guys, um, take more hits to destroy, yeah, than those green guys. So, needless to say, the yellow guys are a bit more armored. Yeah, then the green ones. Yeah. Those ones that attack the, uh, the body. So it's kind of like the Red Lobster guys. Yeah, they aren't as armored as the gray ones. Yeah, the gray ones take a little more to destroy. Your defense of the patient was flawless that time. Keep it up. The mech droids down in maintenance have given your ship the green light. No damage. As a caretaker of the bottom line around here, I like reports like that. That will be all. Welcome to Mission Control, Ensign. Ready? The patient's been complaining of an irritation of the skin. Redness appeared around the nose and mouth, followed by small blisters, which burst and discharged to form a yellowish-brown colored crust on the skin. The infection has gradually spread. Your mission is to locate the bacteria and stop it from spreading further. Okay, so at this volume, it's actually not that bad with the music, so yeah. But hopefully the music will be more audible in the video, you know, once I'm done recording here. Uh, anyway, for this part. Uh, keratin would be the uh, protein. Uh, sweat glands would be here. Uh, not sure about the others. Skin. Poor. Tiny openings of sweat glands, okay. Um. Skin. This is a keratin as well. Hair shaft. Keratin is here. Sweat glands. Openings for the sweat glands. Um, just the amount of moisture secreted by sweat glands. Sack with a bulb at the end that produces hair. Uh, it's either hair shop or hair follicle. Skin. Hair shaft. Hair follicle. So, hair follicle. Yeah, but there is right. Ah. Now these. Gray, bluish broccoli guys. Yeah, same as the red guys, except they can throw the blue hurricane weapon much farther away. But yeah, in terms of the amount of power, yeah, it does the same amount of damage, I think. And these yellow broccoli guys, yeah, they're 
better armor than the green broccoli guys. So it takes more things to destroy. And yeah, these spider-like creatures, they're the ones that attack the body. So they come in and attach themselves somewhere on the body. And get to destroy them quickly or they will um, endanger the health of the patient. And again, the status of the patient is indicated by this green bar here. So don't let that be clear, or else you will lose the mission. And yeah, essentially, if you leave them alone uh, long enough, then they will uh, grow more layers and it becomes harder to destroy them. So get them while they don't have that much protective layers. Shields at 50%. Yeah, see how much damage those blue hurricanes can do? A lot. With outstanding performances like the one you just put in there, we'll have no trouble getting Might Forces funded in the future. Well done. The mech droids down in maintenance have given your ship the green light. No damage. As a caretaker of the bottom line around here, I like reports like that. That will be all. Come in, Ensign. I've been keeping an eye on you, and I think you're ready for some tougher assignments. Therefore, I'm promoting you to Lieutenant Junior Grade. Keep up the good work. So, as you can see, now instead of Ensign, we are now Lieutenant Junior Grade. And I believe these occur at the exact same uh, missions each time. So, when you reach the 11th one, yeah, you reach the rank of Lieutenant Junior Grade. Yeah, and again, they, ha they have absolutely no bearing in terms of um, the uh, arcade uh, game style, for example. Yeah, if the enemies stay the same, they don't become more powerful, and you don't get like uh, more powerful weapons either for destroying them. So that doesn't change in the gameplay in any way. Just um, know that you move through the ranks yeah, as you complete more missions. Welcome to Mission Control, Lieutenant. The patient has been complaining of pain when walking. A closer examination has revealed a virus within the joint of the metatarsals. The virus has infected the cartilage, which forms the smooth inner surface of the joint. It has caused the cells that replace the cartilage as it wears down to stop functioning. As a result, the cartilage has lost most of its smooth surface and friction has increased within the joint. This has inflamed the joint and made it very painful when it's flexed. Your mission is to locate the metatarsals and stop the virus before it causes more damage. And yep, that should be the skeletal system. Bones of the feet. So, phalanges. Which bone of the foot has a boat shape? Uh, I would think that's a cuneiform, but... Bones of the feet. I'm gonna make sure here. Cuneiform. Nope, that's wet shape. Cuboid. Navicular. So it's navicular, okay. Forms the shoe of the foot. Bones of the feet. Cuboid. Fibula. Tibia. Navicular. Cuneiform. Metatarsals. Calcaneus. So, calcaneus. And you can definitely save time by uh, just looking up the choices I'll give to you. So, yeah. Of course, if I take a look at the choices to and memorize them before looking up the information. Yeah, I could have saved some time there, but that's okay. Ah, so I'll mix up the bats and the, those guys that drop bomb mines at you. So, they're the exact same ones at the re as the red ones, except they are much faster and, and are harder to destroy. So they take more shots before, they, before you destroy them. But, yeah, these bomb mines, they, they do do a lot of damage to the ship, though. Whoop, 
I almost got inside. Shields at fifty percent. example of body defense that you put on in there. We'll refer to your gun camera footage in training sessions next week. Good job. Other than standard post-flight maintenance, your ship looks okay. Those things are the Academy's biggest capital asset. I'm glad to see you appreciate that. For conspicuous gallantry and outstanding effort in the pursuit of your duty, the Academy is proud to award you the Red Cross. Congratulations, Lieutenant. You're a credit to the service. Ah, the Red Cross. Nice. So, the exact same sequence as the last time, but we got the, um... Oh, I forgot the other mode that we got. <laughs> yep, and then more fireworks displayed for us. And once again, just like moving up the ranks, yeah, the medals that you get have absolutely no bearing in the gameplay as well. Yeah, it doesn't make enemies tougher, nor do you get special weapons, and, make, and it's easier for you to destroy them. Good Samaritan merit, of metal. Oh yes, of course, of course. And then there's the red cost that we just got. Welcome to Mission Control, Lieutenant. While vacationing at a plush resort in sunny California, the patient came down with a serious case of tennis elbow. He is experiencing stiffness and pain in the joint, which is accompanied by redness and swelling on the outside of the forearm, near the elbow. The swelling is due to inflammation of the bursae, the fluid-filled sacs in the elbow. Your mission is to locate the elbow joint and fight the inflammation you encounter. So, yeah, more skeletal system um, stuff. To find the elbow joint. That would be the owner, I would think. Possibly even the scapula. Elbow joint. Ulna. So, no, I think it's the ulna. Uh, upper arm. Yeah, that's something that I always rem remember. So, um, based on supine, yeah, which is basically lying face down. So, I would think it's this. So, that well, pronation is probably this. Uh, one to two form bones and ona. Elbow joint. Whoops. Ulna. Ah, darn it. So let's switch those two, okay. Elbow joint. Gradius. Oh, no, no, I switched those two, okay. So, it was actually the other way. Palm facing up is supination. Supination. Humorous. So, bands of tissues and ligaments, okay. The ends is cartilage. The wrists. It's probably tarsals, but I'm not certain. Elbow joint. Humorous. 
Radius. Alma. And what exactly did I ask for the bones at the wrist? Elbow joint. The hand. Metacarpals. Phalanges. Carpal bones. Radius. Alma. Yeah, so it's probably carpal bones or something. Oh, carpals, yeah. Yeah, green buckley, guys. Yeah, they're not as armored as the yellow ones, so they are easier to destroy. And then these gray guys, yeah, are a little more armored than the red ones. Yeah, but luckily they don't fire as much as at the ship as the red ones do. Body at 50%. Yeah, so body at 50%. So this green bar here is about to turn yellow. Yep, only a dent. <laughs> it must have been pretty rough in there. The important thing is that you saved the patient. I see that there was no damage to your ship on this last mission. I can't say that I'm the least bit upset about a report like that. Those things cost a fortune. Welcome to Mission Control, Lieutenant. So as you can see, um, the Commodore said something different that time because the, we managed to get the patient at 50% health. So, if you manage that, yeah, then he said something different than what it would have been yeah, if the patient was healthier. And then similarly, for the ship damage, I think he only said something different if you get it into 25%, and also the ship starts taking damage with like um, systems shutting down and whatnot. The patient has been complaining of extreme nausea. A closer examination has revealed a bacterial infection in the stomach. Your mission is to go to the digestive system, locate the stomach, and stop the bacteria. Inner curvature on the right side of the stomach. Stomach. Greater curvature. Lesser curvature. So it's probably lesser or something. Yeah. Uh, I would think that's the esophagus. Stomach. Esophagus. Or maybe not, I don't know. Polaris and Sesame. Stomach. Ah. Pylorus. No, Polaris. Controls the flow of food from the stomach to do a denim. Stomach. Esophagus Pylorus 
duo denim. Stomach. Liver. Stomach. Not sure what the system is actually. Dolores. It might be the Lars again, but I'm not certain. Oh, it is. Ah, these green helmet guys um, with spikes. Yeah, they are very, very heavily armored. So they are extremely difficult to destroy. At least with the weapons that we have currently. Yeah, later on, we'll get better weapons to help them destroy them faster. And this track, yeah, which doesn't play on that many places either, but, um, um, yeah, I would have to say this is one of the best ones. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, Hell's Hamburger, guys. Also very hard to destroy. Yeah, and they blow, and they throw blue hurricanes at the ship. So similar to the Broccoli guys, which as I said before, it does a lot of damage. So those hamburger guys will take a huge chunk of health out of your ship. Shields at 50%. Yeah, and we're already at 50%. So taking plenty of hits by these guys. So needless to say, this is probably like the first, very first. Um, very tough mission. Shields at 25%. Shields critical. Ah, so my number one weapon has been damaged. So, when it's blinking yellow, essentially you can only shoot one weapon on the side. So, and then when it turns red, it means the weapon is destroyed. And you cannot use it anymore. And yeah, as you can see, it shoots slowly regenerate over time. Yeah, if you allow it to, by not taking hits from the um back close weapons, for example. And yeah, you just have to dodge them, so we just screen away. Yeah, and you will know you get hit by them if the screen turns green. That was a textbook example of body defense that you put on in there. We'll refer to your gun camera footage in training sessions next week. Good job. I'm sure that you know that your ship took some light damage. Those ships are still technically experimental, so spare parts are scarce and expensive. Don't let them get through your shields. Welcome to Mission Control, Lieutenant. So yeah, as you, as you just heard, he said something different that time because our ship took some damage. The patient has been complaining of severe pain and tenderness in his hand, especially when the fingers are flexed. A closer examination has revealed a bacteria infection of the bone and the bone marrow, the jelly-like substance within the bone where red blood cells are produced. A textbook case of osteomyelitis. Bone is composed of living tissue and is honeycombed with blood vessels that deliver oxygen and nutrients that the bone needs. If the bacteria is not stopped, it can enter the blood and cause blood poisoning. Your mission is to locate the bones of the hand and stop the bacteria before blood poisoning occurs. The hand. Metacarpals. Carpal bones. So, proximal is closest, distal is farthest. Okay. Wait, what? Closest, didn't they? So it wouldn't be proximal? Oh, I'm confused now. I'll have to take a look at that when I'm done recording. Metacarpals. Two 
two bones join the carpal bones to help bend the wrist. The hand. Carpal bones. Radius. Alma. Closest to the metacarpals. Oh, maybe that's what it was. The hand. Metacarpal. Phalanges. Carpal bones. Closest is the number of carpals. The hand. Metacarpals. Or carpal bones closer than metacarpals. The hand. Carpal bones. So it's probably phalange is done. Nope, it's not. Okay. Formed by the heads of which bones? By the heads of which bones? The hand. Phalange. Metacarpals. So, metacarpals. How many carpal bones make up your wrist? The hand. Carpal bones. at 50%.
outstanding performances like the one you just put in there, we'll have no trouble getting Might Forces funded in the future. Well done. Other than standard post-flight maintenance, your ship looks okay. Those things are the Academy's biggest capital asset. I'm glad to see you appreciate that. Welcome to Mission Control, Lieutenant. Your next patient has been complaining of difficulty breathing. A closer examination of his lungs has revealed a viral infection in the alveoli, which has interrupted the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. The cells of the body need a constant supply of fresh oxygen to stay alive. Your mission is to locate the alveoli, stop the virus, and return breathing to normal. Alveoli, bronchioles, alveoli, septum, septum, septum wall, Alveoli, alveoli, arterioles and venules, so oxygen poor blood would be the arterioles. All of them, just a straight line across. Arterioles and venules. Interior of lungs. The lungs. Capillaries and bronchioles. Alveoli. Bronchioles. Divides into five or more alveolar ducts. Okay. Patient lost a bit of hope. Yeah, luckily the green and, and the yellow bats, um, they aren't that too much different from one another, so they do take the same amount of hits to destroy. But they are very fast though. So I guess the fact that they're easy to destroy is made up for the fact that they are also very difficult to hit. Gray ones, yeah, they're the same as the red ones, except they attack far more frequently. And are a bit harder to destroy than the red ones as well. At least on higher difficulties, because they take two hits rather than uh, one. But though in some cases, they only take one hit. I think it just depends on how you um, shoot at them.
I think as far as I understand, I think their green balls actually do the same amount of damage as the red clouds that the uh, red bats throw at you. It's just that uh, the gray ones are far more dangerous since they fire more, more often than you. an inspired performance. With pilots like you leading the way, the Academy will be a household name before long. Outstanding job. I see that there was no damage to your ship on this last mission. I can't say that I'm the least bit upset about a report like that. Those things cost a fortune. Welcome to Mission Control, Lieutenant. The patient has been experiencing dizziness and confusion. A closer physical examination has revealed an infection of the cerebral hemispheres, which are responsible for the higher thought processes in the brain. The infection must be stopped before permanent damage occurs. Your mission is to go to the nervous system, locate the brain, and stop the infection. So, now we are at the nervous system here. The name of the part of the brain stem that lies just below the pons. The brain. Brain stem. So, the medulla oblongata. The lobe of the brain helps you see. The brain. Cerebral hemispheres. So, read or understand and react to sensory signals. Frontal is ability to speak. Corpus callosum. So, Pareto and the brain. Cerebral hemispheres. Pareto and frontal. Cerebellum. Hypothalamus. Brainstem. The pons. Spinal cord. Cerebellum. Pituitary gland. I think it's just one of those that you just have to remember because, like, it doesn't seem to like, tell you the answer here at all. Ah, that's a bit though. Yeah, it just happened to be a lucky guess there, I guess. Um. The brain. Corpus callosum connects the two hemispheres of the brain. The pons. The brain. Brainstem. Ah, uh, so we get a new weapon here, so we get torpedoes now. So in addition to the two weapons that we've been using, now we get a dirt one, which is our torpedoes. So, it's indicated by this yellow part here. That's our new weapon that we, that we get, which is our the torpedoes. So to use them, we right-click. So, 
in contrast to the two weapons that we've been using though, um, we have a limited supply of torpedoes. So once the yellow bar disappears, that means you can't use them anymore. And this does carry over to different parts of the mission. So um, if you, if you thought you were done with a mission, uh, but there's actually more. Uh, then unfortunately, uh, whatever torpedoes that you have left, those are the ones that, that carry over. The remaining ones that you have left. So, yeah, torpedoes tend to be very effective against these fire guys. And they are also pretty effective against the enemies as well that attack the ship. And also the ones that attack the body too. So, they're just slightly more effective than the, than the green ones that you use to fight the enemies. Yeah, the non bad ones, that is. So, as you can see, I only have one more round of torpedo stuff. So, once I use that up, then I cannot use torpedoes for the rest of the mission. Torpedoes now. Now I can only use these green ones against the uh, uh, non bats. You did pretty good, all things considered. The patient will require some bed rest, but a full recovery is expected. Other than standard post flight maintenance, your ship looks okay. Those things are the Academy's biggest capital asset. I'm glad to see that you appreciate that. Welcome to Mission Control, Lieutenant. So we are on level 17 now, already, and according to this, yeah, the very nice thing about recording in those box is that OBS tells me how long I've been recording, and I've been recording for about 58 minutes now, so that's pretty much a good time for another cut here, so let me go ahead and save now, and yeah, you can either make a new save file, or you can just replace the, um, uh, the one that you already have, I'm just going to replace the one that I already have here. Yeah, this is 17, so I'm just gonna put the low number at the end. Yeah, to remind ourselves where we are. Welcome to Mission Control, Lieutenant. Alrighty, so, uh, with this, uh, we have completed, um, several more here. So, from level 7 to 16, so that's 10 levels. So, um, almost double the amount that we did the last time. So, I'm making pretty good progress, but still quite far away from the conclusion. So, um, yeah, right now it's a good place to stop, so... Uh, with this, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play, and I'll see you all for the next one.